All right, in our fourth podcast from Chapter 14, we're going to review the human blood types that we learned about in Chapter 14. Or I'm going to make that Chapter 11. Uh, that would be the A, B, and O blood types and the RH blood types, which give you your plus and minuses. All right, so just want to remind you that A, B, and O, those show multiple alleles because you have one, two, three alleles for the blood type, but it also shows codominance because A and B are codominant to each other, but it also shows complete dominance because both A and B are dominant over the O. So you've seen this chart before, that if you want to have uh, type A blood, you're either homozygous A or AI, sometimes just referred to as AO. I guess I'll write those down here, because I don't usually use the, the letters I very often. So you could either be AA or you can be AO, that gives you type A. Same with down here, with the Bs, two Bs, or BO, and of course AB, the only way you can have that is to be that, and to be O, you've got to be O and O, all right? So, just like we've seen before. Now, I do want to remind you is that A and B, if you have type AB, you are the universal, universal recipient. Totally misspelled that one. And then if you are type O, you're the universal donor. That's supposed to be an N right there. Let me write that a little better too. D-O-N-O-R. All right. So type AB is the universal recipient. And then type O is the universal donor. Okay. Now, the RH blood group, it's a totally separate different in that group of genes and in this one the positive is completely dominant to the negative all right so let's do a little practice problem here let's say that we have an individual that's a b positive but they're heterozygous for the trait so the phenotype would be a b positive for this individual okay and we're going to cross it with somebody who's type o positive but once again they are also heterozygous. So the phenotype for this one would be O positive. Basically, you're looking at these positive and negatives as like another set of letters. All right. So let's do the Punnett square of this one. Okay. This individual over here could make gametes that are A positive and A negative. They can also make B positives and B negatives. And this individual over here can make two types of gametes, O positive and O negative. So if we do our Punnett square, actually, let's get rid of that. Let's make it square. That's a lot better than what I could ever draw. Okay, one, two, three, now they're close enough for government work. All right, so we'll put the O positive there, the O negatives here, A positive, A negative, B positive, B negative. And now it's just plug and chug. AO positive, positive, AO positive, negative, BO pos, pos, BO pos, negative, AO positive, negative. AO negative negative, BO positive negative, and we have BO negative negative. Okay, so we'll do a phenotype ratio here. So A positive, we don't have any AB positives. Um, we will have some A negatives, we will have some B positives, and we're also going to have some B negatives. All right, so how many of them are? A positive, one, two, three. Do that right, yep. Okay, how many are going to be A negative? One. How many are going to be B positive? One, two, three. And how many are going to be B negative? There you go. So there's an example of how to do one of these A, B, and O blood types. Right. Um, if you have any questions, see your teacher. And this will complete or conclude our fourth podcast, Human Blood Types.